Hello everyone, I know it's been a while since my last upload, but if you're following me on Instagram then you will know why. And if you don't know, I recently became a dad to a baby boy, so my wife and I are still adjusting to our new schedule. But thanks to her for keeping the little dude occupied, I am able to work on this video. So for the past week or so, I've been trying to find a monitor arm for my 38 inch LG 38WN75C ultra wide monitor. There are so many options available on Amazon, and I wanted to make sure I was going to find one that would support the size and weight of my monitor. I also didn't want to spend too much, but luckily I came across a lightning deal for the ER Gear premium monitor mount with a gas spring arm at only 40 bucks. The ER Gear, or maybe it's ER Gear, I'm not sure how it's supposed to be pronounced, but I'm going to go with ER Gear. The ER gear mount stated that it would support a monitor from 22 to 35 inches wide with a max weight of 26 and a half pounds. Now even though I have a 38 inch monitor, it only weighs a little over 19 pounds, which is way under the threshold of 26 and a half, so for the price I'd figure I'd give it a shot. So this mount actually comes with an option to install a USB hub, which technically isn't a hub but a USB extension cable. I decided not to install the cable because I already have a Thunderbolt dock with a spare USB port that's much more convenient. Right out of the box though, I do have to say that everything feels hefty and premium. The base feels really solid, although I wish I would have went with one that didn't have the USB hub because I would prefer something with a smaller base. The oversized base actually gave me a little trouble because I initially wanted to mount the arm to the far right of my desk as you can see here. But due to the way that my desk was configured, I couldn't do it without having to move a bunch of things around, so I ended up mounting it almost near the center. You'll see what I mean towards the end of the video. I did not encounter any issues attaching the arms, everything installed smoothly, although I could have made my life easier by scooting the desk out a bit from the wall. By the way, please ignore the beautiful cable management bundle you see here, I know it looks very professional. You wouldn't believe me if I told you how many times I had to cut the zip ties because I'm either adding or removing an accessory. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one that does this, right? Ever since I got into the desk setup game, it's like every other week I'm either changing or moving something around. Do you guys change your setup often? Let me know in the comments below. Almost two months ago, I uploaded a what's on my desk video, and since then I have moved my desk and gotten a few new items. As a matter of fact, this 38 inch LG monitor is less than 3 months old. Anyways, back to the install. I initially didn't read the manual carefully and installed the VESA plate to the monitor first, but then I had to remove it and install it on the arm. The way this VESA adapter was designed, you leave two screws a bit loose on top and remove the bottom screws from the monitor. And then you gently lower the monitor onto the VESA adapter and then tighten the four screws. While I was filming and installing the monitor onto the VESA adapter, I ended up misplacing one of the screws from the monitor. I was crawling around in my office, looking for it everywhere, thinking that I had dropped it, but I could not find it, so I ended up finished shooting the video anyways. It wasn't until after I was done installing everything that I found the missing screw. It was attached to the bottom of the monitor because this LG monitor has built-in speakers, and the magnet picked it up. One of the features I like most about this monitor arm is the compartment it had for organizing your cables. The one on the lower arm detaches with clips, while the one on the upper arm has one screw. One of the issues that most people had with this monitor arm, as well as other ones, is that no matter how tight you tighten the tilt tension, the monitor will droop. And unfortunately, this one is no different. Even though my monitor weighed about 19 pounds and this arm is supposed to support up to 26 and a half, it will not hold the 38 inch at an exactly 90 degree viewing angle. But for me, it was okay. Even though the monitor slightly tilted down, I am still able to move the monitor arm up for a pretty comfortable viewing angle. The gas spring arm makes it noticeably easier to move the monitor around compared to my previous non-gas spring arm. It moves very smooth and effortlessly. I mean other than the tilt issue, I feel like this is such a great deal for $50, or in my case $40 because I scored that lightning deal. Do you guys think I should keep this one, or find another one that will properly support my monitor? Let me know in the comments below if you have a better one to recommend. Oh and if you are wondering why the IKEA photo LED shelf is empty, I was waiting for a few art canvases that didn't come in in time for this video, but if you find me on Instagram, you will see what I got. Well, until next time, thank you for watching.